Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel as well as the Conversion API on your Thrivecart funnels. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I assume you've already set up a Facebook Pixel. If not, I have a video showing you how to go ahead and do that, and I'll have a link in the description down below. Now, we're going to go into our Meta Ads Manager here, and we want to go to the Events Manager. So I'm going to come to All Tools right here and click into my Events Manager, and I want to go to my Data Sources right here. And so here's my data data set that I want to go ahead and use and I've already set up my pixel so again if you haven't done that already please watch this video first since my pixels already been created I can come over here to manage integrations and I can go ahead and select my meta pixel right there so I'll click on manage and then install pixel on a new website and then I'm going to select install code manually and you want to make sure that you're on the install base code section and so you should have some code right here we can copy the code and then I'm going to go ahead and open just a notepad document real quick so I'm gonna paste my code in there and then I can get my pixel ID right there. So there's my pixel ID. Now let's come back over to Thrivecart and go to the place where we need to install our tracking pixel. So to do that, you come into your products area and then you select the product that you wanna go ahead and attach your pixel to. So this one right here is mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and then we wanna to go to the checkout area. So click on checkout and then tracking right here, and you should see the option to turn on Facebook. And so now it's asking me for my Facebook pixel ID. So we just grab that from Facebook or Meta, and so we'll copy that, and then we can go ahead and paste it right here. And it asks if we wanna go ahead and combine purchase events. So if somebody goes through your funnel and they're buying multiple products through your funnel, you can have Thrivecart send that event as one purchase event, even if they buy multiple products during your funnel, or you can have it send multiple purchases for each product or service that they buy as they go through your funnel. So it depends how you want to count it. If you want to count it as one single purchase or multiple purchases, well then you can select what option makes sense to you. Now for me personally, I like to have each purchase count as a unique purchase. So if someone goes through my funnel and they buy three things, well, I want that to count as three separate purchases within the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. But maybe you have a reason to combine them, in which case you can go ahead and click this option right here. Now it's also recommended to go ahead and enable the Convergence API because sometimes the pixel just doesn't work like they might have an ad blocker or something like that. And it might be blocking your pixel from tracking the events taken on your website. And so the Conversion API kind of works behind the scenes in order to send the customer data to Facebook. So it's a good idea to go ahead and set this up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Enable Conversion API and we need to go ahead and grab some code here. So let's go back to the events manager and I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. And what I wanna do is come over to settings and we wanna go ahead and scroll on down a little bit here. I might cover a couple other things. Uh, one thing you may wanna make sure is to make sure that you are enabling first party cookies because there's several browsers like Safari and Chrome that are about to block third party cookies. So it's a good idea to have the first party cookies turned on. You also wanna make sure that you have automatic advanced matching turned on as well. And you can see mine's turned on right there and keep going. So we get to the Convergence API area and I wanna look at this set up a direct integration option. So there's generate access token. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and then it gives us a code right here. Gonna copy that and come over to Thrivecart and we can go ahead and paste that code right in there. And we also have the option to add a test event code. And since we're gonna be testing things out, we're gonna go ahead and grab that as well. So let's come on back to Facebook and let's go to test events option right here at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out real quick. So clear activity and clear activity. And then I wanna go ahead and confirm my server's events are set up correctly. So it gives me this test code right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that come back to Thrivecart and I'm gonna paste it in there. Now, before going live with this funnel, I wanna make sure that I remove this test event code. Otherwise, it could cause some tracking issues. So that's one thing to remember if you do do this testing, which you should definitely test things out before going live. But before going live, you wanna make sure that you remove this test event code. And then there's also the override source URL. And let's hover over this definition real quick. So if you wanna associate events with a different top level domain that you have verified in Facebook Business Manager, enter that URL here. So if you've gone through the process of verifying your domain within the Facebook Business Manager and that domain is different than your Thrivecart domain, you may wanna go ahead and plug that in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. But this is optional and it won't really impact your tracking. So if you're not comfortable setting this up, you could go ahead and leave that blank. 
So anyway, let's come on down here and hit save and get URL. Now, real quick, before we go ahead and test this link out, so this product is the initial product in a funnel. So I have an upsell and a downsell after people buy this product. Now Thrivecart is smart enough to know that I have a funnel built. So I don't need to go and update my upsell or my downsell and add tracking to those steps. Thrivecart already knows that I wanna track all the conversions across that entire funnel. So you only have to install your pixel and API on that initial product. You don't have to worry about updating your upsells and your downsells. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. So we'll go ahead and grab this link right here and come back to events manager. And I'm still under the test events area. And I wanna go ahead and confirm your website's events are set up correctly. So I'll go into here and then I'll plug in my URL to my order form and open the website. And if you're running an ad blocker or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you turn it off or it's gonna mess you up. So I'm running one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and refresh. And you can see right there that the meta pixel helper is picking up an event on my website. So the page view event has fired off. If I come over to the events manager, I can see that a page view event has been received. So it looks like things are working okay. Let's come back over here and I'm gonna go ahead and check out real quick. And my product is in test mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this test credit card number and throw it in there real quick. And it doesn't matter what you put as an expiration just so it's a date in the future. And CVC doesn't matter what you put in there either. And country and zip doesn't matter either. And I'm gonna turn off this one click checkout option and I'll go ahead and buy the bump as well. And we'll go ahead and complete the order. And let's go look at our events manager real quick and see if anything's going on. So I have an initiate checkout event that has occurred because I started to fill out the checkout form and a couple new events popped in. But let me go ahead back to my funnel and let's go ahead and buy this upsell. So I'll go ahead and add to order. And there we go, my order has completed. Let's come back to the events manager and see what's going on. So I have some purchases that have come through now. So I have a purchase right here for $10. So that's my bump product right there. You can see that it give it its name right there. So that's awesome. And I have another purchase right up here. And so this is the main product right there or product 83. So that came through okay. And I have another purchase as well. So this is my upsell product that also came through for $10. So I tracked all my purchases separately instead of counting it as one single purchase. And it looks like everything is tracking correctly. Now you may notice over here in the second column, there's, it says browser. So browser is when my pixel fires. And so that's collecting data. And then the server one is every time that the API fires. And the API tends to send more information over with it. So let me click into this event real quick. And you can see that the data that came over was a country, the email, browser ID, first name, IP address, and user agent versus with the pixel, so the browser option. You can see that it just sent the email, IP address, and user agent. So quite a bit more information came over via the API. It helps Facebook better track the conversions. Now you'll also see that two events did come over for the purchases. So we had the one on the Pixel and the one on the API, but Facebook was smart enough to know that it was the same exact purchase. And so it automatically deduplicated the events so it's only tracking one purchase and not two purchases every time. So Facebook is smart enough to know the difference between a pixel and an API event and can separate the two out so it's not double counting things. But based on this test, it looks like both the pixel and conversion API are working correctly, so awesome. Let's come back to the funnel and my products here and we'll go back to edit product settings and I wanna come back to the checkout and tracking and I wanna make sure I delete this test event code out of here because I'm ready to go live with my funnel. So then I would come down to the bottom and click on save and get URL and there we go. And that's pretty much it for this video on how to install the Facebook Pixel as well as the conversion API into your Thrivecart funnels. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate your source of likes, comments, subscribes and or check out crazyarmarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.